Hey guys, it's Rob here from Dodge and Fusky in for Plugin Boutique. Um, today I'm going to be doing a very short video on Iris 2 by Isotope. Um, it's a sample based synthesizer as they kind of tout it. It's, it's quite a unique synth um, as you'll see in a second. Um, and it's incredibly diverse in what it can kind of do. It's also very good at making very kind of classic sounds and it's really good fun just to experiment and make your own noises with as we'll get to in a second. Uh, first of all, I'm just going to run through a couple of examples kind of showing you how I've, um, you know, just kind of very quickly used it with some out of the box sounds. So first of all, I'm going to play a kind of a old school hip hop type thing. All the drum loops I've used are just for example. Um, the synths themselves are, are running, as you can see, dry. There's no other uh, processes on there, so you can kind of hear exactly how it will sound straight out of the box. Um, so yeah, a pretty simple kind of old school hip hop kind of sound. Um, the second thing I've done is kind of a deep house chord sound. Uh, again, I've just tweaked a factory fit preset a very little bit, but it'll give you a good idea again of what it can do. Um, so yeah, so pretty legit sounding tones there, um, great for that kind of chord kind of sounds. Um, and then I've done another kind of pretty simple uh, drum and bass type thing. I very slightly tweaked a factory preset here and um, slightly changed some of the modulation settings, which are very similar to Massive. We'll go over that in a second. Um, but again, quite a simple noise just to kind of show you a bit of diversity really. Um, again, not going to win any prizes for tune of the year or anything, but just a kind of rough idea. Um, okay, and here is another little thing that I've done, uh, just using a factory preset that I haven't tweaked at all. And I just put some chords together just to give you an idea of kind of how rich the sound can sound. Obviously, because it's coming from samples and it's then kind of resynthesizing them, you get some really cool tones. Um, so this is again just some basic chords just to show you how good it is for some pad sounds. Okay, I'm now going to create a kind of sound patch from scratch just to give you an idea of how quick, easy and kind of random it is to make sounds using Iris 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load in a sound which I've picked beforehand completely um, because I, it's not how I want the sound to turn out. Um, it's just a dubstep kind of one shot sound from Virtual Riot's uh, sample pack on Total Samples. It just sounds like this by default. Let's turn the gain up so we can get some similar matching. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to experiment. Now you can see here there's a main display in Iris 2. It's kind of like a granular waveform display. So you've got sound over time going from left to right. Then we've got kind of low frequencies and high frequencies going up here. Now what you can do is sculpt out and kind of like filter and let through particular frequencies that you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a bit of the low end here. And then you can kind of just sculpt bits out. You can hear you get kind of really interesting harmonics coming through. You can kind of hear that. Um, you can hear originally already that there might be kind of like slightly different uses for it. So you could kind of have a. Kind of like a deep house kind of bass here, really, just with getting some some weird kind of sounds. And you can see here, anyone that's used to massive will be used to the fact that I've got uh, envelope five controlling the gain kind of standard ADSI here. And what I can do is, if I turn a filter on, I can map anything by drag and drop pretty easily. So I can make this affect the filter. So yeah, I'm not obviously going to go too in-depth here, um, we'd be here all day. 
And one other thing that I, I can show you is you can sculpt time as well as frequency to free, so I could allow like all of it to begin with. Um, yeah, and obviously you can just kind of experiment and play. There's a huge wealth, as you've heard of the sounds earlier, of modulation options that you can find here and a huge diversity of sounds you can get out. But hopefully that's given you a good idea of kind of how good it is just for kind of not really knowing where you're going to end up and just kind of making stuff and seeing, you know, where it goes. Uh, but anyway, hopefully that's given you a good overview of the plugin. Uh, this has been Rob from Dodge and Fusky and for PluginBoutique.com. Yes,